For years, Northwestern's robot design competition has offered students a chance to show off their engineering skills while giving them a form to impress big-name sponsors. But after retooling last year's competition rules and guidelines, this year's design showcase promised to be one of the school's toughest. Wow. Okay, isn't it so cool? Exactly what I hoped for. Yeah, it's so awesome. What Northwestern freshman Andrea Carter finds so cool is robots. Her robot. While neither Andrea nor any of her robot building teammates major in a field where you'd think you'd find robot engineers, they thought it would be, well, kind of fun to compete for a spot in this year's robot design competition. It was really hard for us because we had no idea what we were doing. I. I mean, we knew, you know, what, we knew what a resistor is, but beyond that, we had to learn everything. We read a whole bunch of books over, like, Christmas yeah, we break. Robot Building for Beginners. Yeah, there's a book called <laughs> Robot Building for Beginners, and it was really helpful. Our team name is Budnick, and it was from a show called Sleet Your Shorts. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Probably not. It was on Nickelodeon when we were growing up. Design competition is an autonomous robotics competition. It's held each spring and each year here at Northwestern we design a course and then we tell students what the course, the challenges are, whether it be popping balloons, picking up tennis balls and moving them, jumping from platform to platform, and then the students have the task of building a robot and they have about six months to do this. We knew nothing. This, the, this, like, this arrangement of sensors we got, like if you go to Google and search line following robot, it's like the third link. And it works really well, I guess. Those sensors are used to help the robot stay on course. By following a white line in the middle of the track, the ultimate goal is to have the robot place its flag within the boundary of a box at the finish line. We went to the competition last year and we, we, thought, it was, we thought it was really cool and we thought that we, could, that we could do better than the teams who had done it last year. Last year, I don't think we even completed the course in competition and we won. <laughs> Um, because we got the furthest along in the course, most consistently. But things have changed. With a growing interest in the race, this year's robots are faster and cooler. There were originally 28 teams that were um, signed up and said they were interested. And we've had three successive milestones. This is actually the first year we've had these uh, to make sure that people got started quickly and were able to build things successfully. We don't want people building their entire robot the week before it is due which is definitely feasible and possible. We want people to spend time, work on it throughout the year, and then have a final product at the end. There's so much time for everything. Absolutely ambivalent about whether or not we make it. I'm kind of anxious. I, I'd like no. to see it work, and then I'd be done. Huh. Yeah. These guys are really <laughs> Are you sure you hooked up the batteries in a uh, parallel? Yeah, I know. Yeah. We discovered that we may have an issue with with the four wheels. With four wheels, you're over constraining a surface, so um, you have the potential for one of the wheels to be off the ground. Um, and it looks like we, we will have an issue with that. Last year was a completely different picture. <laughs> um, last year, I mean, it was the course was what five foot four foot platforms um, with three foot gap in between them and then just a steep almost 45 degree ramp down. There was no turning, there was no correction, there was we go straight and we, we just go. <laughs> so it's, it's very different, it, this is nothing like last year. It's always disappointing not to see it running when you really want to but you have to understand these things happen on batteries have to be charged and we have to be there when the batteries are charged so it's kind of limited because we can only charge them in these labs, and it takes a lot of time. In the end, it turned out to be more than just weak batteries that kept the team from defending their title. They failed to pass the final milestone and were forced to drop out. When we return, we'll take you to the 2007 robot design competition, which included some surprises. <laughs>
tremendously successful this year. Everybody's um, really built these robots from scratch and learned everything they needed to know. They've had to figure out or find people to ask or find resources. And uh, you see a great diversity of engineering here. We're excited good. and we're happy and we're just really excited to see everyone else's robots because some people have really good robots. Um, I mean, we're in awe of some of the other teams. We're just excited to see and we really hope everyone does well. I mean, that's how we feel. I mean, some people's robots are awesome. Yeah, Michael Jordan quality. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm, I'm excited to see how everything turns out. So I'm happy about the way the brackets turned out. So I guess we'll see. Okay, judges say we are ready. On my mark, ready, set, go! And they're off. And here they come up to the final straightaway. Make the turn. They're approaching the box and... I think it was just a fluke that our flag didn't didn't go in the right spot because we did it, you know, a bunch of times in a row this morning, so I don't know what happened. But we're not going to change anything. You just hope that it does it right next time. After outlasting their opponent in the first race, followed by a clear victory in the following round, the team's hard work paid off. They're now one of only three teams left. On your mark, get set, go! Here they go. Shepard, the early lead. Here comes Team Budnick, though. They're coming right behind them. Team Shepard takes the shortcut. That could be key. Number Team Budnick moving right along. Shepard had problems with this earlier. Let's see if they can correct it. And there it is. Butnick will finish in third place and they will receive the $1,000 third place prize. So congratulations to Team Butnick. We're really happy. We're really happy. We got there. We're really happy that uh, Mike and Tom won first because this was amazing. amazing. So really good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad everything turned out this way. I think all the teams that won deserved it because you know everyone put a lot of time into it. So I think it all turned out for the best. All right, moving on. <laughs> Sweet.